The people that I introduce her to that didn't know her, they say back, oh, she's a sweetheart, she's an angel. I recall she was this interesting person who appeared to always be taking care of other people. She comes off very quiet initially, but once you get to know her, she's a very warm and giving person, great sense of humor. Uh, she's very dedicated to what she does. I would use Dr. King's words to describe Bonnie Evans. She has a tough mind, but she's got a tender heart. I would describe my mom as um, a woman of God who is the most kind, caring, and compassionate person and someone who really enjoys dancing. <laughs> when I think of Bonnie Evans, I think of a number of terms. And the primary terms that I think of are caring, compassionate, and incredible leader. I think my mother chose a career in healthcare because it was an opportunity to help others. Um, at the core of who she is, she is interested in ways in which you can contribute to someone's life in the most positive way. Kessler's been here a long time. It's the largest rehab hospital in the United States. Even though it's gotten so big, it still has a small time feel because people, through Bonnie's leadership, has really made this feel like home. She's grown from being a student to an intern to somebody who's taking care of patients. So she understood it from the ground up and she's obviously grown exponentially into to the leader she is today. It's a privilege to walk through Kessler's halls as Bonnie Evans' daughter to see how much my mom means to everyone. You know, when we have a snowstorm or a blizzard, it's projected. Bonnie takes things to Kessler so she can stay overnight. And she'll say, I wanted to give my managers a chance so they could get home safely. But let me be here because my patients and their families will still have a need. Bonnie is a consummate professional, but her priority is people. She speaks to patients, she speaks to staff, she speaks to doctors, she speaks to strangers, and she's just a people person. But I always sort of look to her to say, Bonnie, what do you think about this? Something I sort of learned from her is, you know, we need to make sure that we recognize and respect every single position because all of it combined is what creates the great environment. Bonnie really is Kessler in many ways. Our mission at the New Jersey Sharing Network is to save and enhance lives through organ and tissue donation. We are charged by the federal government with identifying uh, potential organ donors in a service area that encompasses most of the state of New Jersey. Her brother became a tissue donor and then she um, became active and we invited her to join our governing board of trustees and she's now um, on the executive committee. She's the secretary of the governing board. She brings to the table a personal experience that she can share with people. Uh, she'll go out and volunteer to go out to a, a programmer and talk about her personal experience. And that's what's so important about having Bonnie on our board. I noticed her when I saw probably the tallest usher in our church. <laughs> she serves in the usher ministry and she gives out bulletins and shows people to their seat. I mean, you think I mean, Bonnie is the CEO of Kessler. You wouldn't think of her in a role of us being a servant. She really enjoys that role because she enjoys giving. At the core of what my mom is about is just her faith that um, so long as you focus on um, listening to God and considering what God has in store for you, that things will always work out the way that they're supposed to. So that's probably one of the most inspiring things about my mom. She mentors a lot of people and she loves that. She, you can see her light up when she's talking about she has to meet with this person or she's spoken with that person. While she didn't get her physical therapy degree at Seton Hall, um, she did mentor a number of our faculty who are in our Doctor of Physical Therapy program. Bonnie's sense of family and sense of collaboration with Seton Hall and especially the School of Health and Medical Sciences through our graduate programs is measurable by the number of, of uh, Seton Hall types who we all see at Kessler on a day-to-day -day basis. I would definitely say that Seton Hall is a part of the family. 
Um, it's a place that holds such importance and that's very clear for the way that my mom has returned to Seton Hall over and over again. I mean, there's a lot of Seton Hall alums here, which I had no idea, but she ran through a list of like seven people who are all leaders in their own right. So um, in distinguishing her or honoring her, I think it's an acknowledgement of what she believes in deep down, which is education is everything. I'm the first person to go to college in my family, although I'm the baby. And she's the first person in her family because she's the oldest. What she learned here allowed her to fly. She loves Seton Hall. She loves the um, integrity of the institution. She loves the quality of the education that she received. And she loves the ongoing relationship. And she is not ashamed to tell it. When she walked into her first alumni board meeting, um, I just remember she walked in, she had a big smile on her face. Uh, she just was very approachable and engaged. I think it's in her nature to give back. Bonnie Evans really epitomizes servant leadership and she really epitomizes what Seton Hall is all about. She just puts her whole heart and soul into everything she does. Uh, it's an unselfish giving of her time and effort. Uh, Bonnie certainly exemplifies servant leadership because the concept implies that you serve from the bottom up and not the top down. That a servant leader is more concerned about their testimony than their title. Congratulations, Bonnie. Well deserved. Way to go, Bonnie. Congratulations on this award. Congratulations, Bon. You are, again, super duper outstanding, awesome. I'm so, so proud of you. Bonnie, on behalf of the School of Health and Medical Sciences, Congratulations. Bonnie, as your pastor, I couldn't be more proud. And as your friend, I couldn't be more excited. Bonnie, on behalf of the Alumni Board of Directors, I would like to congratulate you on this award. You're a great leader and you're a great giver. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mom, on receiving the 2017 Most Distinguished Alumna Award tonight. 